I don't have a girlfriend either. All right. You and me, Billy. Couple of bachelors. Are you allowed to have a girlfriend? In the Baptist church, yes. Pastor Jeff is married. And was married before. So he's had two wives, but not at the same time. That's not allowed. Thank you, Sheldon. At least not anymore. In the Old Testament, Abraham had two, Jacob had four, and Solomon had a thousand. But those were largely for political alliances. Fun fact, only 700 of those were wives. The other 300 were concubines. I wouldn't count on the Bible for facts, but that was fun. So boyfriends and girlfriends are okay? The way I see it, God is love. So if we love someone else, in a committed relationship, we're feeling God. So holding hands is okay? Sure. What about kissing? Maybe at some point when you're older. Do you have a seat? In here? Did somebody die? No, I just want to talk to you. They're getting divorced. At least they waited until one of us was in college. We are not getting a divorce. Just sit. So, you two are both growing up, and I thought that maybe it might be time to have a talk about that and some of the things that go along with that. What is happening? I think she's trying to have the human reproduction talk. Oh, God. Uh, speaking of God, he is very clear about the do's and the don'ts, especially the don'ts. I'm not talking about this with you. I don't think you'll have any new information for me, but I'm happy to chime in with biology facts. I don't have any questions. I'm good. Can we be done now? So you'll ask Pastor Rob, but you won't ask me? I didn't ask you because I know what you'll say. You don't know what I'm going to say. It's a sin. You're too young. Wait till marriage. Well, it is. You are, and you should. You can't be too young if you're an aphid. Some of them are born pregnant. I didn't do anything wrong. I just asked some questions. Well, you can ask me. I'm not asking you anything, ever. <sighs> It's just her hormones. Would you like to learn more? When children reach adolescence, a cascade of hormones are released. What are you doing? Making sure you don't run away. Why? Because that's what happened the last time you and mom fought. I'm not going anywhere. Now get out of here, creepo. Why did you get so mad at Mom? I don't want to talk to her about that stuff. It's so embarrassing. Why? If you have to ask that something's wrong with you. But the topic was procreation, and she clearly is procreated. You. Are you okay? No. What's wrong? Everyone's parents are upset about the sex talk Mom wants to give, and all my friends are blaming me. What? This wasn't your fault. That didn't stop Marjorie Jones from taking my seat at the lunch table. And I also got uninvited from two birthday parties. That's silly. All you did was ask questions. And it's ruining my life. I'm never talking about sex again. Well, all right. Missy, I know you're upset. Would you like a hot beverage? Go away! Every culture has their taboos. In the Ukraine, it's rude to whistle indoors, and they're correct, not a fan. In our society, any discussion of human reproduction seems to be so upsetting, it causes nothing but chaos. Lost jobs. <laughs> Lost friends. Sleepless nights. Even the word sex provokes an uncomfortable reaction. I thought fornicate might work, but that seemed too judgy. Then I found the perfect word, a word so bland and clinical that it would be impossible to take offense to it. Quidus. That'll work. A little angel. Pastor Rob, take Melissa Cooper to be your wife? Heck yeah! And do you, Melissa Cooper, take Pastor Rob to be your husband? I totally do. I hereby pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Youth Pastor Rob. You may now take the bride to Six Flags. Yeah!